Well, hi there everyone, and welcome back to Infinity, where I am here standing in my little, what shall we call this, the beach hut, because I have a few things to do down here. The main reason I'm here is because my iron pickaxe, which you may well remember, broke. So I need to get a new one, and rather than making a normal one, I think it would be a lot more sense to make a Tinker's Construct one. Now, what we are going to need is a little bit of aluminium brass as well. Um, oh, I'll put three in, it is still an ore doubler. So I'll let those just cook up. Another thing which I just want whilst I'm down here is a bit more sand to make a bit more glass. There is quite a bit of it around here. And I'm also going to take the tops off these just so that I can take them up to the top of the hill where I am now living. So let's just grab a little bit of sand, try not to destroy the shape of the hill too much. I know I am. I'm going to have to make an automatic sand making machine pretty soon because I will want quite a bit of glass. And the main reason I'm doing this is because I want glass. I don't have that much use for sand. Hello again, sand sheep. Hello, sand sheep. Am I messing up your little sandy ways? I am very, very sorry. 22 will do for now, I think. That will do nicely. Right, let's head on back up to the smeltery. If we can navigate this and make sure we don't drop into that lava pit, which I always fall into. And while we're here, actually, let's just grab a few of these, because why the heck not? Probably get a few of each of them so that I can start another little orchard upstairs. This orchard is absolutely full. I won't bother with those for the minute. I will want some carrots on my way up though, because I'm getting rather partial to my carrot juice. Right, I have just remembered that I do not have a crafting table, I only have a crafting base, and that means I need to make up another crafting table. Now, do I actually have the stuff to make a crafting table? The answer, of course, is no. So if you'll just excuse me for one second or two. I'm just going to have to cook up a few more seared bricks. I thought we were past that stage. That is clay. And that is sand. There we go. Eight more bricks. And chuck them into a furnace. Luckily I have got some cobblestone on me. Okay, just while that is cooking up, I'm also going to grab me uh, some carrots is what I was after, wasn't it? Because carrots are useful and I do want to start a carrot farm up on the hill. I will replant the seeds, all bar one, and I'll take the other up with me. Now, is there anything else which I want up there? I don't think there really is. I don't know how some gravels got into there. But I think the rest is perfectly okay. Right, three of those is probably enough, when combined, with four of those to make me a crafting table. A crafting table? A casting table. One casting table. Take out the casting basin, which I don't need anymore. Pop in a tool station. That's completely wrong. Try the casting table. That's better. Now when I put in the one, the three aluminiums and one copper, they combine, they make aluminium brass, which is really, really important for making things. Right, what I now need is an axe head. I need an axe head so that I can make a cast of an axe. Oh yeah, you can sit there, whatever. Right, I need some cobble. And I need my, not my stencil table, I need my part builder, because if I tell it that I want to make a pickaxe head out of cobble, I can get a stone pickaxe head. Now what I just do is fall down the stairs, pop 
my stone pickaxe head into the into the casting uh, table. Make sure that aluminium brass is on the bottom, and click on the faucet to fill that up with aluminium brass. How many does it actually take? Just one, just one. Get the grass out of the way, and pick both of those up. So I now have a cast of a pickaxe head. Put my cast of the pickaxe head back in. And now I want to make it out of iron. I have six iron ingots in there. Just fill that up. And there we go, we have an iron pickaxe head. Nice and easy. Now the only thing I really need to think about is what? I need a paper binding and stuff, don't I? Well, that's easy enough to make. Get my binder. I fortunately did pick up all of that reed so I can turn some of it into paper. So I am going to need, get these out, a paper binding for my axe. There we go, and I'm going to need some sort of sticky thing. So I think I'm just going to use a good old fashioned wooden stick because that'll work just fine. I could use something better, but it's only really my first iron pick. I'm not going to be too fussy about it. Right, do I have all the bits which I need and not any of the bits which I don't? I think so. Uh, part builder, tool station, stencil table, it's upstairs, isn't it? It is up, is it? No, it's right there. So I want to make a pickaxe, and I want to make a pickaxe from a stick, a paper binding, and an iron pickaxe head. There we go. So the stats on this are durability 250, mining speed 6, and combine redstone most importantly. Uh, durability 131, mining speed 4, so it's faster. It can mine more and it can mine better. That's all that we really need. Of course it does take iron to repair this, where the other one only takes cobblestone, so it is a bit more expensive, but it's not too bad. And I think that's everything I need from down here. So let's head on. How's the sun doing? It's going down, but we can drink us some carrot juice to get our strength back up because I am very, very hungry. And head back on up to the hill, where as things come into render distance, you might notice that some things have changed. You can see there's a bit of a structure going up there. I have done quite a bit off the camera. Right, let us see if we can get up. And remember, oops, where the big holes are. And remember where my scaffolding is to get up there. It's just there. Hoppity hop, hop, hop. There we go. Get stuck on a tree. There we go. Head on up here. And before long, is it night yet? Not quite. That is fine because I am just going to sh quickly show you what's been going on. I have been smelting up many ores. I've been mining actually. I managed to find some gold ore berry bushes down in a cave, which was really rather awesome. You can see I have got a load of different bits and pieces on the go. The bit which I am actually after is the lead ore. I just want to set that on to macerating off. Uh, the silver is still going and it is out of power. That's fine, this thing is pretty efficient actually. And whilst I'm here I'll note for one thing I have put in sort of these cross beams just to line out the shape of this bit of the room. This won't be the complete room I don't think. This is extremely much a work in progress. I've also rooted the power out, round down and up. I made a bit more cable. And yeah, it's working pretty efficiently. And for now though, I'm just going to quickly nip to bed before a creeper appears. And I'll show you what else I have done. Just while that's all macerating off. I have, I've got another furnace which I have been using. I've been cooking off stone. I've been cooking off all sorts. There's 38 of those in there, 16 of those in there. You can see I've crushed up a load of silver already and some ferrous metal that turns into nickel. 
I have started marking out where I want some sort of structures to go just generally at the minute. I'm just getting a feel for what it's all going to look like coming along here. I think there'll be a building on this side. The main walkway will be through the middle. Towers over here and we have steps going off up here. And if we come off up here you can see I have actually flattened this top bit up and I have started growing some cotton up here. So I'm going to expand this out just a little bit actually and pop in some carrots for my future eating purposes. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. I have sort of defoliated these. They look pretty terrible, but they don't have to look good. They just have to give me sticky resin, which they are doing admirably. because I have lots and lots of these little hills on them. So yeah, I've got 22 at the minute, that's pretty good. I'm just going to whack all those into a furnace just while we are waiting. Uh, yeah, they can go in that one, can't they? Sticky resins. So what is plan the next? Well, plan the next is I want a new machine. The new machine which I want is the one which goes with this. It is the electric furnace. The electric furnace, basically it is a furnace which is powered by the generator so I can power them both off the same thing. Here it is. All it is is another electronic circuit. We have made those, another iron furnace. We have made those and some more bashed out iron. That means I am going to need one, five, uh, five pieces of bashed out iron. I have enough. I'm going to need quite a bit of cobblestone. Uh, where is my cobblestone bits? They will be in here. I cannot believe I'm running short on cobble of all things. So cobble to make up an extra furnace and stick me a bit of that around it will get me the iron furnace. I need some more insulated copper cable. That means I'm going to need to bash out a bit. You can see this is starting to suffer. My forge hammer, we will get a better system for that soon. Snip it up with my cutters because you can't really have too many uh, copper cables to be honest. That's another two copper cables. I'm going to need another six copper cables, which means I'm going to need all of this rubber. You need so many copper cables, right? There and there, there and there. I have an iron plate in the middle and two pieces of redstone is going to get me an electronic circuit. So I've got the electronic circuit. I think that was it actually, an electronic circuit, an iron furnace and two pieces of redstone gets me the electric furnace. Achievement got even hotter topic. Nice. So let's go and see if we can plug this thing in. Um, I must have had some more copper cables kicking about, didn't I? Did I use up all the copper I had? Oh wow, that is surprising. It doesn't really matter though because I'm only going to this will need a lot, lot of tidying up, but basically the furnace is going to go along here. Now I should note there is a degradation with the copper cable. It's not too bad on the copper cable, I don't know if it tells you on this, but the further it travels along a wire, the more power you lose. So I am going to not want to move these too far apart, basically keep everything fairly close together. Anyway, the electric furnace can slip in there. We have one electric furnace. There is a reason I have left a gap, which shall become apparent fairly soon. However, what we can now do is take these crushed lead ores, for example, this has power, pop them in there, and we will start to cook stuff off up into lead ingots, which is all that I really need. So what I'm going to do do is find an empty furnace or a moderately empty furnace and just chuck a load more of this pine wood in because I need a lot more charcoal just at the minute to power my generators and I was going to put that into there and try and sort that out. Right, the next thing which we are looking for, I have bashed out all of my copper haven't I? 
There we go, I have some more. Right, a wrench. Last time we were trying to make the wrench, not the electric wrench, ye old basic bronze wrench. It is here the industrial craft wrench. It is made from six pieces of bronze. And I now have enough stuff to make bronze. All that it needs is, I think, one piece of tin and three pieces of copper gets you four pieces of bronze. Obviously I need six, which is an annoying number, but never mind. Put them in a shape like that, and you get yourself a bronze wrench. Superb, because now what we can do is start to shift these machines around and put them in better orders. Now, the bronze wrench. The bronze wrench is lossy, I think. You can occasionally lose the thing which you're trying to get out, which is just going to have to be an occupational hazard for the minute. So pop, and we've got it back. That's all that really matters. I think sometimes they just actually turn into generators or sometimes machine blocks. Um, I really shouldn't be using that pick for that. I should be using my NAF pick. Right, we want the power. We want the power to come out the bottom of this. So if I hit it, the green side is the output, the brown sides are the input. So if I whack a brown side, it shifts it so the output's on the bottom. And I can pop that going up into there. Then I just need to get out of this little hole I have dug myself into. Like that, I put a piece of uh, pine wood on the floor and I can now put the generator on that side. There we go. Now, do I have a bit of spare and insulated copper cable? I think I do. I can just whack those out like that uh, and dig under there a bit and whack you out and put copper cable along the bottom. There we go, and now everything is pretty well hidden and it just looks that little bit nicer and I'm chucking stuff everywhere. So let us just grab us a bit more of the old wood, pine wood planks. Just like that and pop these all in here. And we now have a nice, neat floor. That all looks an awful lot better. Everything is cooking along reasonably well. I'm running out of power. But we are starting to get somewhere. We now have automated, or at least industrial craft to powered, macerating and cooking. And they're both working pretty darned well and very efficient, I must say, as well. So that will be it for this episode, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Do like, leave a comment and all that stuff. But most importantly, I hope to see you once again next time. Thank you and goodbye.